listen, all you gals and boys, I'm just from Tuckahoe. I'm going to sing a little song, my name's Jim Crow. Wheel about and turn about and do just so. Every time I wheel about, I jump Jim Crow. I went down to the river. In 1836, Jim Crow is born. He begins his strange career as a malicious minstrel caricature of a black man, created by a white man to amuse white audiences. Jim Crow would come to symbolize one of the most tragic eras of race relations in American history, a time deeply rooted in promise and contradiction. 1865, four million Americans, slaves simply because they were born black, were now free. But in little over a decade, that promise was gone replaced by a rigid system of laws designed to keep blacks from experiencing any of their newly achieved rights. It would be known as the era of Jim Crow, the American form of racial apartheid. But I tried to lean inside and get me a cup of water. And those white people beat me till I was unconscious. They thought I was dead. My dad said as long as you living in this South, you're going to have to go to the back door in this town. And you just settle for that. He said, well, the one thing I want you to swear and promise to me, that you will never get used to it. I'm not ashamed of the segregated and Jim Crow experience, all because we were able to devise techniques for survival that permitted us to abide our time and to wait until our change come. As most blacks were willing to bide their time, some began to fight back. In the late 1880s and 90s, they embarked on an uncertain campaign to secure voting rights, build their own communities, schools, businesses, and churches and to demand redress against mob violence and lynching. The white supremacists fought back. By 1919, the Ku Klux Klan, which had been a southern idiosyncrasy, became a national ideology. White supremacy, the power behind Jim Crow, appeared invincible. And over the next decade, the violence against blacks would grow even more horrific. But black Americans continued to battle using the power of the press and ultimately the power of the courts to pursue their quest for freedom and equality against racism. The rise and fall of Jim Crow is their story, the story of strong men and women who would never accept the demeaning, threatening, and perilous world of Jim Crow. The rise and fall of Jim Crow is the story of those who, in the face of unending terror, achieved triumphs, triumphs that would in time make America a better place, not just for themselves, but for all of us.